Hey, what's going on guys? Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my pickups throughout the month of July 2016, so without further ado, let's get into it. So, first up, I uh, went to GameStop, and I did a bit of trading in, and they had some uh, sales, they had a buy two, get one free sale, I believe it was, and I got these three games on the Xbox 360, so the first one is Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, and uh, got this one in particular because I found it for like $65 on Amazon, and then I saw it for like 20 bucks used in GameStop, so I was like, yeah, I'll buy this one. And then I got LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga, played a bit of this game already, it's pretty fun, it's like a compilation of the first two LEGO Star Wars games in one, so it's pretty cool. And then we also have Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed. I have Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing on the Xbox 360 already, and I've never played the sequel. I played it once already. Um, I think I played it on my phone once because it was free, but I deleted it afterwards. It took up too much space. And uh, I played it once since I got it, so uh, I'm going to probably go back to this pretty soon. Not sure when that will be, but hopefully it will be soon. Uh, next up, we got some, uh, some, uh, a Blu-ray. We got, uh, Dragon Ball Z Season 3. Got this on Amazon because I made the honor roll right at the end of school. Uh, I, I made the honor roll because I'm smart, I guess. And, uh, I got Dragon Ball Z Season 3 because of it. Because I had Seasons 1 and 2. I've watched them already. I'm, like, two episodes into this. I just haven't been able to sit down and watch much of it at all. But this is the season where they fight Frieza, so that's cool. I'm very excited to watch that, because um, I've been trying to get into Dragon Ball Z for years, and I just haven't been able to, but now's my chance. Uh, Alright, next up, I went to a few garage sales. I started doing that because I've like never done that before. <laughs> so uh, I went to this one garage sale. They had some uh, some figurines and some... Uh, some other stuff, and uh, saw this little Crash Bandicoot plush, 50 cents. Really cool. I'm not really into Crash Bandicoot, never really played a game of the series, but this is a start, I guess. And uh, I also, at that same garage, still got these little Pokemon figures. We got Krogunk, we got Staravia, and we got Machop. So, that's cool. And I went to the garage show they had next door, and, uh, they had uh, this brand new Visa, I think, which I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Uh, this one. Uh, this is the Wii Zapper I got. It was brand new, sealed, in box. Ten bucks. And it came with Lynx Crossbow Training. So, I didn't have this game, and I never had a Wii Zapper, so this was like a great thing, because now I have this game, and I'm very happy because of it, because it's another first-party Nintendo game to own. Really cool. And then the Wii Zapper, which is something I didn't have already. Uh, and now I have a second one because uh, I went back the next day uh, because I, tr I wanted to do some negotiation because they had a few games and they wanted Wii Music for like 20 bucks. I was like, nope. So uh, yeah, I bought the second Wii Zapper the next day and then I got the other copy of Link's Crossbow Training. And just to prove that I've got two copies, I will open this up. You can see the disc in there, so that's proof, in case you guys don't believe me for whatever reason. Uh, and that, at that same garage sale, I got these three games, and like, the, you know, the two, the, the Wii Zapper, the other copy of Link's Crossbow Training, and these three games, uh, all for 20 bucks all together. So, first up, Sega Superstars for the PS2. I don't even have a PS2, but I got Sega Superstars as a start, for when I get one, eventually. Uh, not sure when that will be. And plus, it requires an iToy USB camera, which I don't have, so even if I did, I can't play it. So, <laughs> that's something. And then, I also have Tony Ox Pro Skater 3 on the GameCube. My first GameCube game since I got my GameCube from my cousin's boyfriend two years ago um, with a bunch of games. So, this is my first one, first game I got since then. And surprisingly, it's another Tony Hawk game. I already have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. I've had this for two years, and um, now I have this one, so that's cool. And then we have Wii Music. I ended up buying it. 
uh, you know, within the deal. I, I told the lady, you could get this for like a dollar at GameStop. And she's like, oh, really? I found it for like 20 on Amazon. I'm like, nope, that's for a brand new copy, and that's not very accurate. So I let her know that, and uh, I ended up getting it for pretty cheap. Not exactly sure how much I paid for this one individually. I think it was like $3, but that's fine. This even uses the Wii Balance Board, which I don't have one of those either. I played this once like, just to test it out, and it seems to be fine. Um, not sure if I'll really keep playing this game, or if I'll even keep it or whatever, but it's another game to have. And then we have my final two pickups I have on me, because I have some more that I got on Amazon. It's just that they're not here yet. Uh, so I got these two, two games on eBay, which... I went on eBay and I shopped on eBay for the first time in my life. I had never, I've been on eBay before, I just never bought anything. So, I bought an eBay gift card with some money I got paid with. Uh, I got Sonic Mega Collection on the GameCube for like 10 bucks, which has a bunch of Sonic games on it for the Genesis. So it's got Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic 3, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Spinball, and Dr. Robot Mix Mean Bean Machine. So, I played a bit of Sonic 1 already, I didn't bother to play the rest of them yet, uh, but it's another game to have in the collection, and I'm just two Sonic games away from having all of them on the GameCube. I just need Adventure DX and Sonic Gems, and I will have all of them. And then we also have Mario Party 8, and I got it for like 25 bucks, and the reason I paid so much for it is because this game goes for like 40, 45 bucks. Um, if you get, if you try to buy it used at GameStop, they, they'll ask you for like $45, and I think that's a little too much, especially since this game isn't even in like 4, it's, it doesn't even go in 1080, like a 16x9, it goes in like 4x3, which really sucks. It's not even in full quality, but that's okay. Uh, I do have it now. And I already had Mario Party 9, but that game is garbage, so I have the better one on the Wii, which is cool. I played it already, I played one, uh board and I lost so I lost to like three I lost to computers which is not that great <laughs> so yeah uh, I gotta get better at the game it's it all matters on luck that's really the only thing that happens in Mario Party like you know it all depends on luck and you and somewhat of skill with the mini games um actually that's not it because I have more stuff I forgot I just remembered so uh, I got some Pokemon plushies, uh, since I'm working, I'm like a camp CIT, uh, counselor in training, so, we went to this, uh, roller skating place, and I got some Pokemon plushies for ten bucks each, which I played a bit too much for these, but, fuck it, I have them now. We have Chimchar, we have Turtwig, I didn't have these characters as plushies, I have a Chimchar figure, and I have nothing related to Turtwig at all, so this was very nice to get, and they didn't even have Piplup which really sucks, but, oh well, I'm going to put these over here. Um, and then, I went to a fair. I didn't win this myself, my friend did, but I exchanged it for like 10 bucks because we did that video on my second channel. Go check that out if you're of age, because it's not very f child friendly. Uh, this is, this is a Piplup, and it's freaking huge, if you look at this. Um, yeah, my friend won this. And, uh, he exchanged it for ten bucks so we could buy the vape hat. And it looks really cool, and I really like it, because Piplup's one of my favorite Pokemon. And, uh, now I have a Piplup plush, because I didn't have one before. Um, I decided to keep the tags on. From now on, when I get a plushie, if it has a tag, I'm going to keep it on. Try my best to keep it in the best condition I can. Um, all other plushies I've had, I've ripped the tags off. So they lose their value, which really sucks, but... Oh well, this tag's a bit bent up, but that's okay. Um, and anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for watching my July pickups. Um, before I go, I just want to say I did get some stuff on Amazon. Actually, I'm gonna put these back. I just I, I bought some stuff on Amazon, uh, and they haven't come yet because uh, I got a fifty dollar gift card. Um, I bought Ezra from Star Wars Rebels for Disney Infinity for like three dollars, and then I bought. On Blu-ray, I got Kindergarten Cop, Forrest Gump, and Independence Day. So, those should be coming pretty soon. Um, if they don't come before I upload this video, then I will put them within the next video and say that I got them in July and just add them on. Or, um, if I when I do get them, I will definitely post it on Twitter. 
So yeah, be sure to follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. I just changed my Twitter handle to really weird dude to match my second channel for some reason. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace, bye, love you, and have a good day.